Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm, of course, Bongai, and today we're going to be continuing our Ostrov series. This will be episode 11. I just want to say thank you to all those that have been supporting the channel and viewing the videos and giving the thumbs up. Much appreciated. And to all those that have recently subscribed. Just want to apologise for the last couple of weeks for not uploading any content. as because I've been looking at getting schedules sorted out correctly. Not only just for YouTube, but also for Twitch as well. So where we left off last last time we were on, guys, on episode 10, we started to expand this little area up as well. We got a couple of bakeries in it and we started to get some houses put in place. Uh, still got a bit of an issue with it comes to uh, getting firewood. And we were also looking at getting all the relevant stalls with the right food equipped. Now looking ahead, we've also moved some of the stuff over here as well. So we're getting we're moving these, like the carpenter and the, the forester, further over so that we can get start using this land a bit better and then we're going to start looking at building into this area as well which is rather i don't know why i did this but at the beginning there for some reason i kept this all open so we're going to start looking at building on this area as well so looking at where we are we've got the forester there now and we've got the carpenter there still now i could easily bring the carpenter into here but it'd be a bit pointless because we've got the, the stables there and we've still got the smithy and the forest over here what i'm actually going to do guys i'm going to remove we're going to put these so this actually applies over on this this particular one hopefully they'll move over and we're going to take all this out and then we're going to tell them to actually make this empty we could destroy the resources but i'm not going to bother i'm just going to say make it empty and more hopefully get some people in there to try and get that sorted we'll speed up a little bit in fact i'll put it only on uh five speed just so we can keep an eye on it a little bit better because there's quite a lot of resources in there as it stands and just make sure what else we've got going on here as well now what we could also start doing is looking at taking these two out and we'll start looking at emptying this as well not destroy it but empty it because we're going to look at removing this into this little area so they're all nicely neat together so well, without further ado guys we'll go ahead and we'll put in a carpenter hopefully that is going to fit in here just nicely i'm not particularly bothered about quitting that path off because that path is really no use anyway unless you're in the trade so that could literally go in there we could maybe bring it down a bit now we won't we'll bring it up front like that and then we can put a little uh stall of some sort there by stall i mean cart right then so that's what we're looking at there let's have a quick look over here as well just make sure we've got plenty of people in work we have we've got no houses available at the moment but that's not a problem but plenty of vacancies open as well and we're gonna bring this over this carpenter so we can get this put in as well once this is up and running guys then we will be looking at getting these uh granaries up and running also now if i'm honest with you guys i kind of wish i'd have put these granaries maybe in the center of here but it is what it is so we'll leave it as it is. right so we can actually destroy this building now so we'll go ahead and do that we've removed all the stuff out of there and they're actually in the process of building that it's all good so if we go ahead and demolish it and bring that up there as well then we'll at least we'll get the resources from that um that's going to take some time to de demolish, but we've got plenty of uh, labourers on there getting rid of it all. It's all good. And uh, we just want to make sure there's definitely no workers on either of them. And we can actually demolish these pits as well now, which is uh, handy to know. I wasn't aware that was a thing. Never really clicked on it, didn't even notice, to be quite honest. So that's maybe something we can move in the future. Uh, I'm not too sure where we put it, maybe on the back of here somewhere. But it's not really needed there and then we could build this out much bigger and better for that matter of for that fact uh, so while we're looking at that just going to keep an eye on our funds we're still in the uh 16 16 grand worth of debt plus uh and this can also go as well now uh, this needs to be deactivated because they're all over there and we'll get rid of that also uh make empty that won't take long to empty either Good thing is this is almost done and this is now almost built as well we are going to be looking at getting some maybe putting some warehouses down here guys and some more uh storage of some sort 
Now, I'm just going to look at what we've got at the moment. That is literally got um, wood. Got wood in there as well. And we've got charcoals and nails. I'm tempted to take those nails out because I don't think we need to get the nails in there. Nails seems to be one of those things that we need a lot of. I think what we need to start looking at is getting a lot more stuff in with regards to food and crops and so on. Now, this is our entrance in, and I'm tempted to move this over to here and then just extend these houses over. So with that in, in mind, I think what we'll do is we'll get that put in now. So I'm not going to be looking at uh, any, any anything too major at the moment, guys. I just want to try and get this little area, try and get it working better for us. So if we go into here and we'll get that wagon shed, I believe it's on the other's page, you know. Uh, unless I'm in the wrong one. Wagon shed. So if we put the wagon shed right opposite this barn, it may actually work out better for us. In fact, if we do it a bit more off like so, then it's between the entrance or the or the exit in this case of the actual main trading post and it's very close to the uh the horse stables there. So we'll put that in there. And then we'll eventually get these moved over. So I'm gonna bring that up. We've actually got one of the granaries getting built as it happens. So this is not major at the moment because it is the winter. We'll try and get these uh, granaries up and running and then we can start looking at getting this lot all moved over. Get rid of that now as well. How's this coming along? Uh, we're struggling, but it's getting there. Really make empty. We've got no workers on that. And now we need to go into here and we need to... We've got 100 and 100. We'll uh, apply. We're going to put two people on. Uh, two people on. All year round. And I'm going to start looking at increasing the wages if I haven't already, guys. Just to try and get more people in. So... We'll do the same with that as well. Now, hopefully I've done that with all of them. I have. Good. And we're going to do the same with the uh, Spithy. So as I'll be going around, I will be given 100% wages. Because uh, this will hopefully help us get more people in over time. And get things sorted. Now then, we've got one of the granaries in. What we'll do, we're just going to go down... Uh, have I just messed up there? Let's have a quick look. Now, bear in mind, guys, we don't have to have stalls right next to these. Because these just bring in the relevant stuff. So let me just put them on so we can buy from the public. We'll put a thousand of each in for the time being. As we have with everything else. And I want to be able to make sure that all these um, gra granaries have all got any produ any produce that we can actually get at the moment. So if I go to there, we're just going to go to that one and then say mark it up. We'll put the uh, wages up to 100. And we'll uh, mark that as well. So that shall hopefully be matched. And it is, which is all good. And we want to make sure, guys, as we go around, that all these are ticked so we can get more stuff transported around. Uh, this is probably something I need to do on other features, such as uh, all the other possibilities, like the crafting, the forestry, and so on. We're going to go to there. We're going to just do that again, just so we can get the same settings for this one. And now we finished here on fish, so let's go back in here and add the rest. Now, we're not going to get them all in. Arilka, that's a new one to us, as we mentioned last time we were on. We've got horse meat, mead, so we're now producing uh, alcohol, milk, mutton, onions, pork, and potatoes. Where's potatoes? There they are. Now then, what I'm actually tempted to do is, be just going to take these off. I just want to double check which ones we can actually buy from the residents because if I can get them in there, it'd probably be better. I'm quite honest. I don't think we can. Oh, that, there's raspberries. Uh, no, we don't need that. So 
if that's the case, we'll just put the uh, sunflower oil in there as well. And we'll do the same. When it comes to the quantity. And we've already started getting that built up. Good thing is we've already started get this uh, this uh, shed wagon shed built up now as well. We'll probably put a couple more warehouses across the back of here. And I just wish we could uh, get rid of this to be quite honest. I didn't want the workers on there. That's because I pressed automatically on there. Tell you what, oh, we can't do it. I was going to say let's empty it, but we've only got thirty five firewood get rid of anywhere let's have a quick look over on here now i know i mentioned a moment ago guys that the actual stores don't have to be within the vicinity of the granary but i am tempted to do like a market stall area over over here so they're close by and then we'll uh, look at getting these shifters as well um just before i go further we're going to just get a little wagon where's it gone uh, the cart shed could go in there. So let's just uh, spin that around. I didn't get the right one there, didn't I? I did say cart shed. Right, before I do that, it's not going to let me do it till we get rid of that. Wagon shed is what we're currently building. It was the cart park I wanted, actually. It wasn't the cart shed. It was the cart parking. Although I think the cart shed might actually fit in there better. To be quite honest. Let's just spin that around. And we're going to put that smack up against there. Like so. Bear in mind, guys, this is not going to be here. So this is all up and running. Good. So we're going to go with that again exactly the same and then we need to move that oh cancel we're going to drag that over to there if we can what was that right click drag the horse from the stable to replace it No, we don't want to be we don't want to be destroying anything because that was a nightmare last time. Get these to work. Let me just see if I can just get in there. Have they actually got horses? No, they haven't. Well, let's just uh... might have to come back to them. Unfortunately, I don't want to be doing that actually because we want to get the guys in here. We've got no horses, apparently. That's new to me. So I'm going to leave that for the time being until we can get some horses and then get it shifted over. And we'll get some more of the actual hay bales just on the end of it. On the back. In fact, can we get them any on the front there? We'll get them all down the side of here. And that should give us plenty of stocks when it comes to food. And the way it's going, it might be easier just to go bam, 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 get them on. And then if it comes to it, we can always remove that later on. No draft horses to complete the order. Right, we do need to get some horses if that's the case then. Nothing in there. We could start selling some of our produce, but I'm not going to bother at the moment, guys. In fact, we could probably get rid of half of our flour. Our sunflower oil, sorry. And we could do the same with the flour, just to try and get a little bit of an income in. Not a massive amount, but there we go. Now, we've got those houses coming in, so I'm going to move these up because I don't really want any more houses getting built in at the moment. 
and I'll pause them just so that I don't actually put them back on. We've got a thatcher again that doesn't need it and we've got the cart shed which we're going to be putting in over here. This I believe is going to become turn into a nightmare because for some reason we can't get rid of these at 35 firewood. We've got a, a well here, which is, that's going to work out okay. Almost said the wrong word there. That is the granary, so this can now come down. We've got the two granaries here, so this can come out and we'll uh, make empty and we'll get rid of these workers on there. All this, and you can, as you can see guys, we've only got 100 uh, sunflower oil in there, which is not going to take long. In fact, I think it's done. That is empty, so that'll be coming out shortly as well. And then I'm looking at changing this up. More more of a grid. I know it's not something I wanted to do originally, but I think we're not using all the land correctly. And I might even move this sand, uh, salt work into this centered area here. Because then we can uh, look at getting a couple more fields across this area. Or even houses if need be. I'm just going to quickly look around and make sure that I'm not missing anything. We've got a little bit to come off there. I don't know what's taking so long to get this, this uh, cartridge up and running. But that's in. That's the main thing. We have got a couple of buildings over here, which are the... That's not it. Taylor's Workshop and the Weaver. Well, we did actually build another cart over... Oh, there we go. So we have actually got some horses, which is good. We can get another one on there as well. And then let's just make sure that these are getting the right wage now as well. While we're at it. And then while we're in here, we need to make sure we have that ticked as well. And then apply to... All. I actually, I won't lie, I don't remember having a stable over here, but there we go. We are going to have to get some more horses in. And I think what I'll have to do at some point is go around every building just to make sure it has got the right equipment in and the right setup. That can now come out, which is good. Let's bring that up as well. And I'm hoping, because we've got this stack here, that these will use that for the time being as well. And it looks like we're full of stocks on there. That should have been ticked, and it wasn't. We have got a lot of stock in there, guys. I won't lie. A lot more than I thought. And then we're going to look at getting... We've actually got a new new building, guys, which uh, I'm going to put in in a moment. Before we do, we're going to look at getting this assault works shifted over as well. I'm just going to put that literally in the middle there. Just to try and fill this out a little bit. And uh, I think that would probably be better off like so. We'll get plenty of carts in. That's all good. And we'll get three workers on there. And that'll help us with moving stocks around. That That's coming down pretty damn quick. But now we've actually... Because we've actually got over... Oh, we haven't actually got over. I thought we actually were over 400... Uh, Residents, but we might not be. Uh, let's double check because we have actually got a tavern now. We can we can put in. We need to make sure we've got plenty of stuff like mead and honey, as as laws that the world know. Honey is uh, mead is made from honey. I don't think. I, I'm sure I'd seen it, but maybe I hadn't. Have a look. No. Apparently not. Not to worry. 
Just going to make sure I've actually put some more fishing ducks in around here yet, guys. I haven't as yet. But we will be putting fishing ducks in over here. And these seriously need some wood. Uh, let's have a look what we've got over there. Oh, okay then. So we're the fish. We better get this in because for some reason I've missed out this one. That'll give us them all so. And as you can see, these guys are still wanting firewood over here. So we could potentially be losing people if that's the case. Which one is it that requires firewood? Firewood. And yet we've got no one working there. And that's going to help. As soon as we put these up to 100, it should make a big difference. And again, I don't know why I was missing them in the first place, to be quite honest with you. This should start, start but there we go. We've got our first worker in there. That's our main one. We need to get the firewood over here. And that is helping. Except <laughs> the one we want hasn't actually got a worker yet. We'll come back to them in a minute or so. This, again, still becoming a bit of a pain, look. Because it's not doing... It's not getting dismantled at all. Uh, and this can start looking at getting uh, dismantled. So I'm just going to uh, cancel these off because this is going to get shifted. Uh, make empty. Uh, I don't think we have got to see draft horses. We have got draft horses, but I don't want to... I don't really want to be getting rid of them. What we also need to do, guys, one thing I have noticed I'd forgot to do, I have never given the... I've never done any ox or a plough. So we're going to get three ploughs put in for that particular farm so we can get some of the, the soils worked correctly. That's all done. Good. Uh, stock. Whatever the maximum is. Which is 500, right? Okay. So I wonder if a thousand would be the maximum for the year. Yeah. We've got a couple of uh, ox ploughs set up, or at least ordered. This is now getting built, which is good. We're going to take these trees out as well. Now, I appreciate, guys, this is probably not something you were expecting to see this on this episode. But uh, it's been bugging me for some time. And I just thought if we can get it done, then better. And uh, I wish we could move them. There's a possibility that we can. I, just, I, I was just not clicking on the right thing somewhere. And we're going to make this empty. And hopefully this will just move all the stuff over to where it needs to be at the other one over here. I'm hoping that'll just migrate straight over. And it is. Thank God for that. And we're just going to put a couple more houses across the back of here. And then we'll get rid of these as well. So this episode, guys, is literally fixing mistakes and hopefully 
making it run a little bit better for us as we progress through moving forward. Oh, is it actually going to let me touch it? It is. Right, there we go. Make empty on that as well. We've got a little bit of a stall up here. We've got these all working. These should all have the correct. Yes, they do. Good. So this particular stall, in theory, will be providing these lot here. However, for some reason, these are getting more hungry as we go on. And I'm in two minds, guys, and I don't know what you what you may be thinking, but do we change these single houses here into houses with gardens? Like that can now go. Uh, and that stuff is still emptying. We're going to keep this nice green tree archway in there. That nice sort of pathway. I'd like to say straight path, but it's not. Right, we had some more of these gone as well. No, not yet. Let's just let that move up there. Not empty. But yes, I'm in two minds, guys, whether we should actually do that. Let's have a quick look. Or the, the, other, the other way I could do it would be to put some stalls. We've got the food market here, you see, but nothing stopped us from putting food stalls over there. Once it's up and running. What have we got in here? Warm clothes. Doing all right there. We could do with getting these wages up as well. Get them all back to 100. Oop. No. That's all sorted. Now then, I am actually going to have to get, once these are down, these have to be made. Otherwise, we're going to struggle because we won't have any feed. Oh, that's a new feature for me. Now, there's actually been a couple of updates. There we are. I knew I'd seen the tavern somewhere. I knew I'd seen it. We may put the tavern... Slam bang on the middle of there because it'll coincide with this pathway. Only downside is it's going to be near a primary school, so it'll be literally drop the kids off of school and go for a pint. Let's get rid of that, and we're going to get rid of this as well. I wish that would let me say uh, resource supply 35. Move resources by wagon. Has anyone got any, apparently? Minus 35. Nothing to do, look. And yet it's still not letting me move it. New family has moved it to town. Cool. So we're at 360 residents now, guys. I'm going to get rid of these as well. They won't take too long, which is good. And I think what we'll do moving forward, guys, we might actually leave it running at this this pace, as it seems to be a nicer pace to, to, to go for, rather than going all out, going hammer and tong with the, with the, uh, the fast pace. So we could literally... If we're going to put the tavern there, we could, we, like I say, we'll put a market stall in here. Or we could literally just put it in there now. So if we go back into here, we'll, we need, I think it's eight. That's six. I'm sure it's actually eight we need now.
cool. So, what we're going to do, we're going to get rid of all these. Because they'll be moving over to the other ones. And get all these moved over to the next place. Which is what we just put in. Well, let's just say, make empty. I should have really gone into the previous one and told it what's going on them. And they just migrated this stuff over there, but not to worry. We'll start from here. Got to make sure we get the firewood in there. I'm not totally sure what, what, what Marilka is. Start again. I don't know what uh, Marilka is. I don't know if it's an alcoholic drink or if it's some sort of just milk. Fermented milk. But it's something I'm definitely going to have to look into. That's better. Uh, Marilka. Where are we now? Horse meat. Yeah, we've got mutton twice there, so let's go back in here. Uh, onions. Well, I might have got one more here, but it doesn't matter. Uh, salt, shoes. And sunflower. And warm clothes. Cool. What I didn't do was I was going around there, putting the workers back on. Forty-eight stars we've got, and all these coming out now. And as you can say, guys, we're still having an issue with the original forestry. I'm not totally sure what the air uh, thing is on this, but it's like, what's that? 10,000, so we might get away with 2,000 each, then if that's the case. I don't know I was getting my marks from. Because then them numbers just don't match now. Right, so we've got this here. Have we got any horses? Yes, we do. Do we have any draft horses? No, we don't. Uh, that's a shame. So we'll leave it at that for the time being then. Play. Ooh. Okay. So I think if we've got firewood in one of these, we're going to take it out because I think we're putting too much firewood in storage. We're not actually using it, so let's take that out and then we can use that across our market stalls. These seem to be coming down a little bit in regards to food. I'm trying to check, see if our plows have been made yet. No, they haven't. Oh, to be honest with you, the cows has been the one thing that we've never had to worry about when it comes to uh, making sure they're still alive. And as you can see, all these now struggling for food because we've had to mess about with all this over here. And then we've got our tavern, which I've mentioned that we we're going to put just on the edge there. Ooh. Didn't think of that. Well, that, no, that might work. I 
And then this can come down, hopefully. And then what we've got in here? Quick lime. Right, okay. So that quick lime could possibly go in there. It would if it wasn't full. If we make that empty. That should get rid of that. And then we can look at building. We might what we might actually do over here is do what we've done similar to this bit here. The little uh, yards. We'll put them in there. We'll put a couple of little market stalls in here because it wouldn't hurt. The only, the only downside I have in the minute, as I've just noticed, is uh, the fact that actually we might be able to get that one just on the end there. In fact, because these don't take that long to do, we can just take these straight down. The good thing is we don't have to wait for these particular ones. And it might be better to put them long ways on. Although I did originally want to get a I'll find it, a little gazebo in the middle there. We'll do it with the actual gate at the back there, the little steps. Back before I do that, what I may actually do, we've got a gateway going across there. If we just put a fence in for the time being, we'll have it almost like a private garden. put a small archway in there as well don't try to add magnet to that size why did they suddenly just go massively do lally there that for now and then we're going to get the uh, stalls in Not too sure what I'm doing there. That works. And that is just not going to work there, so we'll just turn it around over here. Two more in, bring them up. up. There. That'll hopefully help these little over here. Oh, up right there.
Is it me? Are you seeing that as well? Where they just suddenly just go absolutely bonkers? And that's all the actual produce that we make in this area all together. And that'll hopefully help with the food issues and so on. Because that'll help over here yet once we start building this over over this area as well. As much as they've got this, they're gonna have that area as well, so we can get rid of that. I wish we could get rid of that. We can't apparently. A waiting minus one. Uh, this might have something to do with this. Labourers, men and women. And then we've got a house getting built at the moment, which I'm going to... Ah, oh, it's a tavern, sorry. Tell a lie. So just while we're looking at that, guys, I'm just going to have a quick look over here. Luckily, this has result. You know what? Let's just leave that house on because it's almost finished. It looks like we've got our wood over here. Or we did have at some point. We don't have a worker anymore. So this might be a slightly longer episode than normal, guys. Not by much, hopefully. No draft animals. No, you're right there. And that is still waiting to go. And I don't think I told it to empty it. Oh no, I'm clicking the wrong one. Move that. And then I think we can probably move that well. The side of this house eventually. And we'll get a couple more houses in there. We don't need that now either. So that can go. And we still have an issue over here when it comes to food. And it seems to be they're not take they're not taking they're not getting anything at all over there. Could do with some pigs we haven't got any at the moment. Well, that's what she said, mate. We've got a couple of chickens, not a lot, from what I can see. We could do with the cockerel in there, probably. We've got 300 cow hides in there. Bam. Let's just get his wages up as well while we're here. I'm just going to go around and make sure all these are where I want them. And this might be the reason why we're not getting all the food transported when I want because I haven't had them selected to be moved by cart. And then we'll do this at the same with the fishermen. So 
And this is what happens when you guys, when you just rush in and you're not really thinking about what you're doing, you're just placing things because you want to get your your town up and running. And then it's later on you realise that you've missed things. Just little things like ticking right boxes at the right time. But uh, every day is a skill day and you learn as you go along. In some cases. Just to make you aware, guys, moving forward, our Ostrich series will be going live every Tuesday now. With a different series, a different uh, video, four days a week. So we've got all these now. These should all be exactly the same, and they are. Good. And we've got this one here as well. And this hopefully will help us moving forward, especially when it comes to making sure all the residents have got food supplies and warm clothing when they need it. That's all good. That still hasn't been ticked, so we'll apply that. That's to the carpenters. Cutters and then the smithies. Have we done this? No, we haven't even done the smithy, even though we've been messing about with it today. But we did the wages. Okay then. We don't do anything with the church. These should be all be fine. And have some stocks in. They won't have a lot in because there's only these I'll probably buy from. And this is why I need to start looking at getting this built up now. Uh, but what I'd really want to do, guys, is get this entire thing here changed pretty quick if i'm honest and this building is doing my head in and as you can see there guys no food whatsoever in the granaries oh we've got sunflower oil if we go over to our mayor's home let's have a quick look in here oh this is the actual town hall yeah this is town hall uh, we'll get the builders on as well for the wages because, I mean, they should have been on more money than that anyway. And economy. Let's have a quick look. Market price 100%. Purchase from the citizens at 80. Um, tavern tax. Um, that'd be tw we'll put that on 30 as well once it's up and running. Have we got any piglets? Yes, we have. Let's get 10 of them. Because I don't expect them to survive, because they never do, for some reason. Nope, that'll do for now. So we've got our sheep in here, guys, from our sheep farm, which is good. They are going pretty well at the moment. We've got our cows over there, and then we're going to be having our... We've got a couple of chickens left. And we've got the pig styes coming over. Now, if I'm not mistaken, over here, we should have... Yeah, that's what I thought. We might have to relocate the, all these chickens to the other farm. How many have we got in there? Four. We've definitely got no workers over here. Pick on another coop, so we'll bring it over here quickly. Just at the moment, while this is not actually getting used, that's all I'm thinking at the moment. We haven't got the actual people. We haven't got the actual workers there, so... There's actually five there. Oh, no, there's four. Make empty. And we've got our sheep here. And again, we haven't got anyone working here. That's going to change, I'm guessing. Because we're about to do that. In fact, I should have done that on here, to be quite honest.
Chicken died of thirst. Oh, typical. So I've moved those chickens and lost a lot, I think. Let me just have a quick... Oh, look at the state of that. So me missing about with food and what have you. Hasn't been all great. We've still got some chickens in there. So we can't complain. Pigs are in. They should be fine. Let me just check on that. Yeah, that's not right. I come back to that. How are we doing? So the tavern is getting there. As you can see. This is going to be a bit of a difficult one to get running because we need plenty of mead. We haven't got a lot of it at the moment. So not the best uh, look as it stands because we need to get rid of this as well. But as you can see, I put that in there and there's only these two houses that are really struggling at the moment. So while that's there, what we're going to do now, we're going to put a couple more um, boat yards in. We've got plenty of fish. I think one over here would be ideal so we can fill this granary. Or these granaries. Um, I, I need to move these over here actually. We've only got the one granary here as well. So I think we'll do is that the same thing again. We'll get another one next to it. We'll stick that one in like... So, then we'll put a couple of houses across the front of here and we'll put like a market stall in the centre but we are definitely going to need some more fishing the boat yard we'll put that there and then a fishing dock there. Now bear in mind guys, we've got access to all the different islands now, except for one, which is this one here. So we need to build another bridge over there eventually. But it's not important at the moment because we have actually got plenty of access to other areas. And we're going to put another fishing dock down the back of there as well. More fish the better. It's one resource that we can kind of rely on. I'm going to bring these up. That granary probably needs bringing up first. What's that? Slaughterhouse. Not really important at the moment. In fact, those boats, ship, boat yards can go in before. Uh, sorry, the ship fishing docks can go before the boat yard because we've actually got one. He's not really that busy at the moment. And neither is that. <laughs> and I think what we'll eventually be doing, guys, is we'll, we'll be looking at building some houses across here. Maybe another row in here and we're building some housing in along this road as well. This will get us some workers in here and some additional workers in for these other areas that we need. Hopefully get some more wood collected over. And then we may put a forestry over this area as well as we go on. Three hundred and sixty. We gained a few. A few new residents this time round. Not a massive amount. Some are better than none. Uh, how many piglets have we got at the moment? 11. Not all bad. And we've got, we kind of fixed this area here as well. Just to uh, bring some additional food storage over. It'd be good to see the tavern up running because that should bring us some more additional money in. Uh, additional resources require clear wood and thatch. That shouldn't really be an issue. I mean, I could be wrong. We've got plenty of thatch in there. So if I just do that, then they'll hopefully take that resources. Because we have got it. 
And then what we need to do is... All I need to do is move a couple of things over here. Around. We'll get a couple more houses in there. And hopefully we've started to use the, uh, the land a little bit better than what we were previously. Still no ploughs as yet. But the uh, animals will be doing the job until the ploughs are in anyway. Uh, and I think on our next episode, guys, hopefully this will be gone by then. We'll start looking at pulling this area out and then bringing it around. I think what we may actually do is bring it around like an arch. Like like a semicircle of some sort with the houses going across with a gateway going down there. With a nice greenery like we've done here. Going into the churchyard. And bring it around with like a, a market stall as well. In fact, what I'm looking at doing is we might actually put a market store, a, a couple of granaries in here. So that we've got this area covered as well as over there. So they've got a choice. But bear in mind, we'll be filling this up as we go on. So the more granaries, the better. And I think when it comes to these hair, hair dryers, these will be getting like scattered across the front there. In between buildings where we can put them. And we'll put another couple of fields in there for produce as well. That's still coming down. It is, or it was. So we should leave it there for this episode, guys. Let me just uh, get rid of that before we do. There we go. So we'll leave it there for this episode, guys. So this is episode 11 of our Ostrov series. Don't forget, guys, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit the like button if that's the type of thing you like, if you've enjoyed it so far. I appreciate this video has not been like previous ones where we're building, but we have to fix things and we need to fix them. And if you are new to the channel, guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I do go live over on Twitch as well, Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays. So by all means... Come and visit me over there and say hi. All the links to this particular game, as well as my social media channels and everything, will be in the list uh, in, in, in the description below. On that note, guys, I'll be bong eye. Thanks for dropping by, and I shall see you in the next video. Ciao for now.